As you may remember, in my last video, I tested an idea that was in my head that you could sleep in the back of a Mark VI Fiesta. And as crazy as that sounds, it was a success. But now it's time to make it properly. Now, before we go on with the build, I just want to show you guys these. These are the two boxes that I spoke about, which make the like structure um, underneath the folding arrangement that my uncle have made for me out of proper, nice, thick, sturdy wood. And these double up as storage bins, like your suitcase almost, like a McLaren F1 in a way. Um, and also like they add the structure, so the folding arrangement go on the top. Really good quality, really happy with them. So shout out to him. And then he's also, in the next part of this video, helping me actually build the thing out of proper nice wood. So first of all, we're gonna go get some wood and then we're gonna actually make the camper folding arrangement properly and I'll show you guys how it all works. So off we go to the local timber merchants to pick up some of that splintery stuff. My uncle is a master craftsman and is making the camper base and folding rooms all from my design and measurements and helping me get it into the car and bolt it down. So now it's made, let me show you how it works. First, you fold the seats forward and remove the headrest on both sides and then slide the seats forward. Then take the two boxes or storage bins and place them inside the sleep rails. These have been made to fit perfectly. Then fold the tabletop over which gives you a nice sturdy base to sleep on. Now me and my girlfriend are going to make some makeshift window covers until we find something a bit more permanent. Yeah, you do look good on camera. Are you helping me do the car? Yeah. Someone needs to do that. Uh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> we need to add on how much? We need to add on to the E. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, yeah, that'll work yeah, perfectly. Yeah. So we need to add an E onto this stencil, and that's about as far as arts and crafts and mechanical engineering go here. So we just have to roll with it. We cut out the stencil, then draw it on some cardboard and then we can cut out the cardboard. Oh mate, it's getting my girl. That's a good stencil that is. Alright, now what? Next window. Next window. Now we can copy one side and make another to do the back windows. Goodbye. What are you doing? <laughs> this is the only way I can do it. It's going in the video. It is. Everyone's got to see this. The world's got to see this. Right. Laying down the job. Do you think that's actually worked? I think so. That looks dreadful. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, well, do you think that's the best way? She thinks it's the best way, so she draws it on the board and then we can cut it out. Make sure it fits, then onto the cardboard. Now for all the ceiling edges, we are using duct tape to make a lip around the outside of all the cardboard pieces. This is so once we push them in, they form a nice tight shape to the window. We had seen this on other channels, so we're just giving it a go ourselves. Okay. 
Then we can make some pull tabs. And here is one window done. A quick coat of black spray paint and then it's time to do the rest. So we left the paint to dry overnight. Um, they may need a second coat, not sure yet. It's annoying we messed up there and there's the logos on that side of the box, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna test fit, see what they're like in the car. So test fitting them and they work amazing. We now just need to do the fronts. Right, so they're in and they fit really well and they look really good and you can't see them from the outside really um i think once we've done the fronts it'll provide a nice little like blackout area for us really um that's sort of a wide shot you can see all of them and the reason we've done the tabs is so you can pull them out easy because when you push them into the window they're actually quite solid in here um yeah so now we're going to do the fronts if, like me, you have a Mark VI window spare, use that as a template. Somewhere there, I reckon. There's a, there's a straight edge on the other side. Again, cut them out and tape them up. Now it's time to fully test this camper. Here is a one inch thick memory foam mattress topper. Don't worry, we will be using more, but I just can't be asked to get them out for this, this time. Then in go the window covers. The front looked great too. Now for some comfort, the pillows and the duvet set. Right guys, proof that you can put a bed in the back of a Fiesta Mark VI free door with windows. So really all that's sort of left is to test it, but you may be wondering about the front windshield. We're just gonna put a blanket over that for the time being. Um, the parcel shelf is gonna act sort of like a, um, like a breakfast bar. <laughs> Uh, someone to put the iPad to watch some films at night, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, that is that is it. Um, and I'm sure you guys are wondering what I look like in this now. <laughs> so yeah, look at that. I've got tons of room as well. And there's enough space for someone to sleep next to me. It's almost like being on a small double. Uh, yeah, I'm really happy with that. It's actually really comfortable as well. It's cozy. It's sort of, you can have a really good night in there, I reckon. Once the um, once the other foam mattress toppers down, I think this is going to be really quite cool. <laughs> I'm actually proper excited for this. Um, yeah, the theory works. You can sleep in the back of a Mark VI Fiesta. And really, guys, the first time we're trying out is this weekend at Super Touring Power 2. Um, screenshot of this on the screen. Really looking forward to that. But yeah, that's when we're going to try it out for the first time. So I will let you know afterwards how it went. But as always, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this couple of two parts video. Sorry it's taken me so long to make this second part. Hope you've enjoyed coming along with this really quite cool build. It just opens up a world of possibilities. Yeah, it's a tiny little camper, but on budget, this is perfectly fine for a little weekend away, a couple of days somewhere. Absolutely acceptable. 
Uh, yeah, you may get some looks, but what's the point of having a modified car if you're scared of getting looked at? Anyways, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the video, and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Enjoy those modified cars, and I will let you know how this goes.